Hey guys, welcome back to the Entertainment Lab. I'm back with another season recap, and this time it is season one recap of the boys. So before we begin, hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon. Fucking die bomb. The boys is set in a universe where superheroes live among us. They are generally under the control of a company called Vault. Vault has a superhero team which consists of seven superheroes called the Seven. Very creative. They protect people against terrorism and other threats, but the company is massively corrupt. A normal boy named Huey Campbell suffers mental trauma after his girlfriend Robin is killed in a high-velocity impact with celebrity superhero A-Train. On the other side, aspiring superhero Annie auditions as Starlight and is accepted to join the Seven. Arriving at Seven headquarters, she is greeted by the Deep, who sexually abuses her. A vigilante named Billy Butcher offers Huey a chance to expose superhero corruption. He asks Huey to take the settlement money and to plant a bug at Seven Tower. So he plants a bug, but translucent, a member of the Seven discovers it and confronts Huey alone at work. With the grand entry, Butcher arrives and helps Huey incapacitate Translucent. <laughs> Elsewhere, Homelander downs the mayor of Baltimore's plane, owing to his attempts to blackmail Vought. Now, Butcher and Huey take Translucent to Frenchie, who makes a meta-bullet to pierce the Hero Diamond's hard skin, but it fails to kill him. So Butcher goes to CIA Department Director Susan Rayner for the Mallory files, but she refuses. Elsewhere, Vault VP Madeleine Stilwell blackmails Oklahoma Senator into allowing a vote that could enable Vault to contract superheroes to the military. While Homelander goes on a search for Translucent, however, Frenchie decides to place C4 explosives in Translucent's colon. Ooh, who then fearfully reveals A-Train was with his girlfriend Popclaw before he killed Robin. Somehow, Translucent escapes and convinces Huey to let him go, but Huey changes his mind and detonates the explosives, killing Translucent. Now, Butcher brings in his former friend Mother's Milk to run surveillance on Popclaw. Huey installs spyware on her computer and they learn that A-Train takes a performance-enhancing substance known as Compound V. So Butcher wants to expose them before supers can be allowed into the US Armed Forces, but he needs a vial of Compound V from A-Train's upcoming race with Shockwave. Beforehand, Huey meets Annie, a starlight, inviting her to lunch. The two open up to each other, leading to their exchanging numbers. Would you like my number? With M.M. deducing Popclaw swipes and vials, they find her heartbroken high and in the midst of killing a landlord during hypercharged sex. Butcher uses this opportunity to blackmail Popclaw as an informant. And at Fort Headquarters, Homelander reveals Translucent's remains to Stillwell, along with Butcher's message, I'm coming for you. Following Popclaw's tip, the boys find a triad hideout housing an imprisoned Japanese woman, the female, whom Frenchie frees. M.M. finds evidence that female was a test subject. When Huey meets Starlight while bowling, Butcher has him bug her phone. With the compound V supply compromised, A-Train has Popclaw go in hiding while he searches for the female. Meanwhile, Stilwell sends Homelander and Queen Maeve to save a hijacked airliner, but Homelander casually abandons the plane when the plan fails, forcing Maeve to choose her survival over that of the passengers. Don't die with them! Frenchie finds evidence leading to Penn Station and makes a momentary connection with the female and Frenchie tries talking to her. As she attacks them, so Butcher uses knockout gas. Elsewhere, Stilwell is pleased to see Homelander use the tragedy to push for military soups. Now, at the Believe Expo, Starlight talks with some teens while being quietly directed to push the Vought agenda while Butch has Huey meet Ezekiel, the Expo host, and the next lead so Huey extorts the latter for information about Compound V. Elsewhere, A-Train kills Popclaw for betraying him and finds surveillance footage of Frenchie. While Butcher and M.M. discover that Vought is using Compound V on infants in order to manufacture supers, 
Holy fuck! That was diabolical! Frenchie discovers Black Noir is looking for him. Attempting to escape, he is told to leave the female behind, but releases her out of sympathy. She seemingly dies protecting him from Black Noir, but then awakens and her wounds immediately heal. Now informed, the boys know Vought has used super charities to smuggle Compound V disguised as vaccines and make super babies since 1971. At Vought, Stillwell, aware it was deep, has him apologize publicly and transfers him to Sandusky, Ohio for a sabbatical. Alone, Butcher explains to Huey that Homelander raped his wife, who went missing shortly afterwards. Frenchie and M.M. get help from Mesmer, a telepath, to see into the female's mind, learning her name is Kimiko and that she was kidnapped by the Shining Light Liberation Army terrorist group. They also learn that Vought is making Compound V boosted terrorists to push their agenda to militarize supers. Meanwhile, Mesmer gives Homelander surveillance photos of the boys. Homelander holds a meeting to discuss Huey killing Translucent, extorting Ezekiel, and A-Train killing Robin. He angrily accuses Starlight of co-conspiracy, but Maeve defends her. When A-Train calls Huey, claiming he's holding his dad hostage, the boys realize Mesmer betrayed them. An enraged butcher later murders Mesmer. At home, Huey obtains some Compound V to distract A-Train and allow Kimiko to cripple him. Homelander asks Vought scientist Dr. Vogelbaum about Becca Butcher, who informs him she was pregnant with his child, but both died and Vought covered it up. Butcher asks Rayner to protect Huey's and M.M.'s families in exchange for evidence. As Rayner charges Stillwell and Vought, she learns of the superhuman terrorist Nakib. Annie confronts Huey, who explains Vought's use of Compound V, before Butcher arrives to save him and shoots her. Now the Pentagon classifies Compound V as a controlled substance, and lists the boys as fugitives. Butcher takes Huey to Mallory, who refuses participation, but informs them about Stillwell. While Homelander privately confesses to Stillwell that he secretly made the super-terrorists. At a black site, Huey helps Frenchie and M.M. free Kimiko. Starlight rescues them. Now Butcher takes Stillwell hostage and fits her with explosives to bait Homelander. After revealing he tortured Vogelbaum for the truth about Becca, Homelander kills Stillwell himself. <laughs> Homelander saves Butcher from his suicidal explosion and shows him where Becca has been secretly raising Homelander's son, stunning both Butcher and Becca. Okay guys, that's it. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you like it, hit the like button. And for more such content like this, subscribe to our channel.